so your name is Tati back again with another video. In today's video, we'll be doing the review to The Flash, season 6, episode 19, the finale. It's over. It's over for us until next season. You know, I... I, I you know, I'm not trying to put, like, a lot of, like, negative energy on episode 19 but in the same breath that shit was whack <laughs> i'm sorry that's why i did that big sign like i'm sorry like if if the like i'm you know the stuff that's going on we can't help that like the fact that they had to cut the season short that that's not their fault it's not our fault it, you know that's just how the world is right now but in the same breath i have to say that if we still had a good 22 to 23 episodes i would still say episode 19 was trash i would still say it was trash um i didn't like that fight i know last week i said episode 18 i feel like they were using a lot of clips from episode 18 like when Barry was running with Godspeed they were reusing a lot of clips uh, from the first episode of season 6 like he did the same roundabout thing on the glass but yet I st that Barry did in season 1 but yet I still enjoyed episode 18 for what it was um, looking forward to episode 19 and it was just like is this a filler episode or am I tripping like a lot of stuff that happened in episode 18 i mean episode 19 i did not need for one i didn't need allegra and nash having conversations back to back multiple times two i didn't need barry i didn't need nash telling barry like why are you compromising yourself you know iris well first of all you don't even know iris you don't even know iris to say what she would and wouldn't do you wasn't there with savitar okay so what are you what are you talking about like why are you hesitating when when uh carver said that he could get your wife back why did you why did you hesitate you know iris wouldn't want you to do that shut the fuck up you don't know her how you know she wouldn't but still i didn't i didn't i honestly didn't need sue and ralph this episode i really truly did not need sue and ralph to have any moment because he was like i believe it yeah girl what are you doing yeah this is not you what are you doing i'm like you don't even know her you know her from the information you gathered on her in the beginning of season six and y'all met a couple of times and she duped your ass every time so what is that you know about her i didn't understand i, I could have waited for season seven to have the Sue and Ralph storyline. Like I really, like I didn't need that. And now it seems as if, it seems as if the black hole storyline is gonna be Sue's and Ralph storyline now because Eva accused, uh, well, I don't know if she accused it, but they're searching for Sue uh, because they're saying that she murdered Carver, that she's the one that murdered Carver. So is this gonna become a Sue Dearborn storyline instead of an Iris storyline? Or is it gonna be both of theirs? Like, <sighs> God, Lord have mercy. This episode was just so. Oh my God, I won't say it was trash because it had some okay moments, but. And then they was like, uh, and then Cecile, uh, Cecile, cute little ass coming in like, guess who's back in town, honey? Oh, guess who? Guess, guess who's back in town? My baby's father. And Joe walking in like, hey, what's up? Episode, right and uh she was said something along the lines of 
of like, oh, shouldn't we be worried about Iris or something, something like, like that's that's important. And then Cecile was like, well, you're important to us too. No, the fuck she ain't. No, she not. I, I, I like Caitlyn's character, really, I do. I like Caitlyn and Killer Frost. But let's compare the two, bitch. Who's more important, Killer Frost and Caitlyn's storyline or Iris being stuck in the mirror? Let's 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 be let's be really real. And then somebody on Twitter, I ain't gonna say the person who wrote the episode, but somebody on Twitter was like, somebody must really one of them writers in there. I'm not gonna say the person, the writer's name, but they were saying like one of them writers in there must really favor uh, Caitlyn's character because she wrote episode three, fifteen, and nineteen, and they all are uh, Killer Frost, Caitlyn centered, and, and and nobody else is really getting any character development in, in the storyline. I was like, ooh, girl, it's true because episode three was Caitlyn and Killer Frost, episode fifteen, Caitlyn and Killer Frost, episode nineteen too. Oh, it's a pattern. It's a pattern that nobody wants. Like, yeah. and then she went with her mama. I was like, ain't her mama supposed to be turning into Caitlyn, turning into Killer Frost too? And then the stupid thing about it was, they talking about like, oh, they talking about like, oh, Killer Frost is scared because what if her mother doesn't accept her, bitch? Her mom didn't accept Caitlyn for her regular uh boring ass. So what the hell is you talking about? Like, do y'all not remember season three, episode five, where she was uh where she didn't want to go see her mom, but she was uh having signs of turning into Killer Frost, and so she went to her mom's job, and she was like, "Nice to see you, Caitlyn." I wish she would have called first, and she was like, "Nice to see you too, mother." And then they was talking about how uh she neglected her as a child after her daddy died and moved on and married somebody else and had a kid by somebody else. Like, girl, get, get with it. Do y'all not remember what the fuck y'all right? Like, hello. I know y'all got some new people in there, but do they watch the show? Damn. Like, K Kaylee and her mama did not get along, girl. Killer Frost should know that. She been on the back seat. She was watching that bitch while, while she was uh while she was being neglected as a little child, only eating Cheerios for, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. What the fuck is y'all talking about? <laughs> this bitch went to a whole nother college in a different state because she didn't want to be by her. I'm just saying. I, I'm not blaming them. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not blaming them because I'm pretty sure episode 23 would have been amazing, honey. You know, and I'm pretty sure it would have, you know, been filled of of, of, of the Flash and uh, him running and stuff like that. I'm sure of that. I'm sure. But. Uh, what the hell was that? And you know what? I'm not one to complain. I'm a liar. <laughs> I complain all the time. Uh, but look, when is the last Kiana, when is the last time we got a romantic scene between Barry and Iris? Do you remember one I this season? I don't never. Do you remember one that's happened this season? Never. I know it, I know barely any romantic scenes happened in season five. All they did was peck. Peck like five times in season five. But this season, I cannot recall not one romantic scene between them. Wow, that's bad. The fire scene, the fire, uh, not the fire pit girl. What's it called? Oh, shit. Hell, the shit that the fire go in. That, the fire scene that they did. Shit. That was kind of slightly romantic, but it wasn't romantic because they always, like, Taking taking Barry Iris out of focus. As soon as they lips touch, they take Barry and Iris out of focus and like put the camera on a damn lantern or a lamp or a ruler or a goddamn cra uh, a Crayola crayon. Like what the fuck are y'all doing? I think that was the first and only time they really kissed. Cause Mira Iris don't count when they kissed in episode ten. I mean episode eleven. Whatever, eleven. Yeah, girl, like where is the romance, honey? Where is it? Where is the romance? I am looking for it. Where is she? Like this is the CW. How many times Felicity got charged? R.I.P. Uh, R.I.P. Oliver. But how many times he didn't crack Felicity's back in a season? Like damn. 
Supergirl ain't with nobody, so we don't we don't we don't really care about who she kissing. Let's look tomorrow. They just freaks over there. So uh, Flash gotta give us some romance. Like hello, what is y'all doing? Talking about like oh, we're Flash fans over here, so it's gonna be nothing but Flash. Well, no, it's Flash and Co. Because y'all got all these other people that don't matter having scenes that don't matter. Like who wants to see Allegra and Nash? Kiana, who wants to see Allegra and Nash? I don't want to see them. Kiana, who wants to see Cisco and Camilla? I'm who wants to see Cisco, but I don't want to see Camilla. Who, who wants to see Ralph and Sue over no. Barry and Iris? I'll say that. Who, who wants to see Cecile ass? Who wants to see Cecile's? Who wants to see Cecile? Nobody! I'm like, damn! Like, I know, like, damn! Cecile got a lot of screen time, girl. Cash them checks, girl. Cash them. Cash them checks, girl. Because she got a lot of screen time that was not necessary at all. Like, and I hate that they do that shit. Like, when Joe is missing in action, they always try to replace it with Cecile. Like, they have the same value. Like, no disrespect, but I don't want to see Cecile giving Barry pep talks. I don't want to see Nash giving Barry pep talks. Caitlin, I want to see Iris giving pep yeah, talks. Yeah, sure. I don't even want to see Iris. I'm tired of that pep talk shit. Do something different. Well, I, I, I feel like Caitlin can give Barry pep talks because she's been doing it since season one. Fair game. Let her do it. Let her have it. Give her her job. Get her paid. There. She, he, uh, but uh, but uh, I don't want to see nobody else giving Barry pep talks. That's not your job. Hell, it shouldn't even be Iris' job. He should be able to pick his own damn self up and brush his shoulders off. I'm tired of this shit. And, and you know what? Iris disappeared in this fucking She disappeared, girl. She disappeared. I don't know what's happening. I don't know if she'll become the new mirror master and beat Eva's ass when she get out. I don't know what's gonna happen, girl. All I know is the bitch, my bitch, disappeared. And, 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 and I don't know where she went. I don't know if she went to Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. I don't know if she went to the lavatory. I don't know if she went to the hospital. I don't know where she went. I don't know where she went. All I know is I'm mad. I'm disappointed. I'm upset. And you know what? When she do get out, I swear to God, if she, I swear to God, if they brush this shit under the rug, like, oh my God, she's dealing with it mentally for a good episode, for a good 45 minutes. Oh my God, her mental. And by the next episode, she's like, okay, so Barry, you want a banana? What's, what you want? You want this poo nanny? What you want, Barry? It's not real. That ain't real. I don't know how many times they have brushed Iris' emotions under the rug. When, when, back in season one, when, when, when uh, Barry went into that nine-month coma, what she do? Jump in the bed with Eddie. When in season two, she was, when she was supposed to be dealing with, uh, Grieving Eddie, she didn't grieve that. She only grieved him one episode when Barry did that video and she cried like, oh my God, Eddie. And then her mama died, she didn't even grieve that. It was just like, oh my God, Wally, you're so cute. You look just like me, let me help you. You're going in the wrong direction. Season three, she found out that Savitar was Barry. Barry, come here, give me a hug, it's okay. It's okay, Barry. Let me comfort you, boy. And like, I ain't the one dying. And season four, when Barry was in the speed for six, for six months, she was mad as shit, hard as shit. Didn't even want to talk about Barry. Didn't want to do nothing that had to deal with Barry. Two episodes left. Barry, let's plan our wedding, boo. What's going on? Let's party. <laughs> season five, her daughter didn't like her, didn't want to be around her, didn't want to say nothing to her. She like, girl, I would have still did the same thing and took away your powers. I lost my husband. You think I want to lose my daughter too? Oh my God, mom, you're so annoying. It's okay, girl. Give me a hug. Let's talk. Let's kiki. Hell no. Y'all better not do the same thing. Y'all been doing since season one to Iris. No, she better deal with that shit for real. Damn. I'm sorry. Like, I just went on a whole fucking rant right now. Are you okay? No. Sweating and all. I'm sweating and all, and I got on a new titty holder. So I'm really sweating, because you know how you got to break them in? <sighs> Should never wore this one, Kiana. Kiana, where the hell is we going? Kiana, where the hell is we going? Kiana, what you liked about the episode? Let's stop being mean.
What you like about it? After you went on that damn rant. I know. Forget about it. I'm sorry. I was just so disappointed in this episode. And you know what? I went into it knowing that I was going to be disappointed before I even heard anything. I knew it was going to be a disappointment. And I hate that. I really hate that they be so excited like that. Like that shit is good. We didn't hear shit from Candace. She was just like, yeah, you guys just watch the episode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cause she's a real bitch. She ain't finna say, yeah, that's just great. No, she was like, yeah, watch the episode, guys. Mm -hmm. I'll be over here though. <laughs> what else was a good part? I, uh, I enjoyed Eva. I I enjoyed Eva. I really did. I re she is one of the most badass female villains in the entire series. Like. I, like I always kind of felt like the female villains were corny or a little lackluster like Amunet is a little corny but I like her like I like Amunet but she's corny but Eva that bitch is sinister that bitch got a got her hair dyed like cause she had gray in her hair and she was looking a little older she was looking a little elderly like her husband her deceased ex-husband she's a widow now and now that girl don't look a day older than 29 32 okay 32 and she looks good I mean I was like oh she just went into her little she just went into her little uh little box and got rejuvenated girl like she looks great she looks great she feels great she looks amazing she scared the hell out of him she was like you think you can hide from me Carver but yeah like girl it's it was amazing like I love Eva she she was the Okay, she was the best part of the episode. Eva, period, point blank, her. I just, I'm tired of being upset. Like, I just really am tired of being upset. Mind you, season six was still way better than season five. Let's not try to act, girl. Season six had way better episodes than season five ever had. Season six had, season six, I believe, okay, I'll say this. Every season of The Flash has had multiple great episodes multiple great episodes that are can be standalone episodes right flat uh, 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 season five didn't have one great episode i don't remember one great episode and, and i don't i don't ever count the season premiere or the finale so those do not count because there's they're always going to be good but i don't remember season five having one great episode and season six had episode two they had uh they had episode seven and eight both great they had episode 10 11 they had episode 16 and 17 like they had some pretty great episodes like it was some pretty great storytelling in those episodes uh and you know, you have to give credit where credit is due. And I think that season six held its own. Uh, and then on the other hand, you can't really go so hard on season six because of the coronavirus and what's going on in the world. Like, you can't really go as hard on season six. Like, you can't really critique it like you want because everybody it wasn't the finish. Yeah, it wasn't the finished product and everybody had to evacuate. Exactly. And get up out of there because it was you know so you can't really critique season six so harshly like oh it was the worst like you can't you can't put the worst season in season six in the same sentence you just can't you can't it's not fair now you can't critique episode by episode but an entire season you can't do that you just can't sorry you can't uh, I thought that for, for the first time ever in the history of the Flash TV show, Iris had some great standalone moments by herself. I, you know, that was what I've been waiting to see. I've been waiting to see Iris do some things outside of Team Flash, outside of Barry Allen as her husband. You know, I've been waiting to see that. Um... And you know what? I'm gonna be honest. I'm tired of I'm tired of Team Flash. I'm tired of Star Labs. I'm very very tired of it. Like it was cute season one. It was essential in season one. It was essential in season two. It was cute in season three. Now it's like okay, what do we need them for for real? 
you need a doctor to take care of Barry. Okay, I'm pretty sure he learned some things over the time and he has speed healing. Well, you need tech, you need somebody to build some shit. Well, Barry created Gideon, so does he really need Cisco? Like, you know, like he really don't need them. Like he really, just like Iris don't need to be in Star Labs like that. There should not be a Star Labs anymore. Like, there really shouldn't. Like, I'm tired of the... Oh, that's a cute little car. I'm tired of the Wells thing. I'm, like... Harry was cool. Don't get me wrong. I liked Harry. I enjoyed Harry for what he was. Uh, they killed him off. He's dead now. He's dead. Yeah, he's dead now. Everybody in Earth 2 is dead. They're just dead. Um... I loved HR. He will always hold a special place in my liver, you know? Uh, you see, I didn't say heart, I said liver. And, uh, Kiana laughed, that was funny. I am. Oh, okay. And, uh, but I don't need all these, and then, let's not forget that Allegra is supposed to be full-time now, and Chester is full-time. What, what is this motherfucker walking in the street for? Get your ugly ass, sit down. And, uh, Chester is supposed to be full-time as well. Where are you gonna have time for? And then on top of that, Ralph and Sue storyline, Cisco and Camilla storyline. Like, where are you gonna have time for all these people? You're not. Someone, let's revamp. Let's revamp. Like, one show that I will always consider like top tier, top tier television. I won't say Euphoria because Euphoria has only been for a season. And usually the first seasons are always great of shows that get renewed. Um, so I can't really speak on Euphoria. One show that by far has kept me on my toes consistently from episode one all the way up to their their uh, season finale. It's not even over yet, but this is their last season. It's How to Get Away with Murder. I think their storytelling is great. They never keep the same characters. Yes, they keep the same core, but everybody's always missing. Somebody dead, they killed this person, that person. Like, it, they always keep us on our toes, and I always loved how creative they get, and I always love, and The Walking Dead as well, even though The Walking Dead dropped off a little bit. But I've always loved yeah, how. Sorry. <laughs> I always loved how they keep it spicy. I just, I kind of feel like we need to revamp. Like, re, we don't need to keep reuse, re, redo, and recycle all the damn time. Like, we need to get it together. We need to bring some new people up in there. <sighs> And when I say new people, I don't mean get new people that do the same thing as the older characters. Like, Chester is just a black version of Cisco. To what I was saying. Like, I feel like we need some revamping to this cast. Like, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Everybody needs a check. Especially now. Everybody needs a check. But, uh, I don't need all them characters. And I feel like... I'm gonna say something that people don't like. <sighs> we don't need Cisco, we don't need Caitlyn, we don't need Cecile, and we don't need Joe anymore. <gasps> release. That was a good release. <sighs> that was an amazing release. I'm getting teary eyed. Sister, don't cry, sissy. Oh my god, but we don't need their characters no more, bitch. Like, we really just do not need them anymore. Especially, especially Cecile. We do not need her as a full-timer. It was cute that they was trying to do her like, oh, I'm gonna be a defense attorney for Metas and get them off, you know, get the good people off, uh, you know, and get them to be free and do whatever they want to do with their life so they have, don't have to have any jail time and stuff like that. Like, I get it. They didn't do nothing with it. She said it and then it was done. So, I'm like, she's not getting the storyline. What's the point of having her character? You don't see her child. Barry and Iris don't babysit the child, even though they should, so they compare themselves for kids. It's just nothing, like nothing. Like the Flash has definitely lost its core off about it. You know, like season one was definitely about family. It was definitely, uh, it was, it was definitely about it. Was, it was family values. You know what I'm saying? Like Cisco, Caitlin, and Doctor Wells was Barry's family in Star Labs and then Iris and Joe was was uh Barry's uh family at home him as Barry Allen and I feel like the show has lost 
a part of that like yeah it's cool we get Barry the Flash like we want Barry to be the Flash like we see him in the comic books and I feel like uh, Barry Allen on the show is getting closer and closer to being that uh, or is he peak Barry Allen I think he's peak you know I think he's peak uh, uh, the Flash I think he is uh, he's still learning stuff but I do think that he's like you know he's a seasoned speedster and he's you know whatever but I feel like the show has lost its core value in a sense like season five was all was supposed to be about family and legacy we didn't get no family I don't know what the fuck that was we have family and probably like two like we probably got a family scenes and probably like a handful of episodes but you expressed so hard in every interview at comic-con that this was supposed to be about family and legacy and we didn't get none of that shit what we get star labs and so season six See, that's why I don't like Comic-Con like that because I feel like they just do all that talking. Don't we don't need all that talking. That's why I like television back in the day. Like you wrote articles after the episode aired. Like they be trying to just get all the little coins they can because get doing any No, fuck that be. shit. They be trying to get all the coins they can get talk doing all this talking before shit even aired. Like that's when he true. like when 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 Eric talked about, "Oh, Iris is probably like 90 Mirror Iris is probably like 98% uh the iris we know lie what the what the fuck are you talking about that's a fucking lie and that article came out before we even seen i'm pretty sure he said that before we even saw the episodes uh you know so i'm like <sighs> stop all that talking just do the damn show that's the problem and i would you know i was so i used to be so upset when i used to see the previous executive producer doing youtube videos mm -hmm. um giving a synopsis to what the episode was going to be about like what before is the it even started. yeah before it even comes on like what is the point of that there's no point of it because and so who want want the answers now who wants to see it who wants to see that he's not giving us any answers he's giving us a synopsis that we could read when they uh in a, in a little tv guide in a little tv guide that's what the TV guide is for. To give us a synopsis of what the fuck that... Google it. <laughs> like, that man. shit... Like, stop doing all that talking. Comic-Con is supposed to be fun. I don't need to hear all that fucking information. Like, yeah, Iris is gonna... Uh, Iris is gonna get... And Danielle will be happy as shit in her little cute little dress. Or her cute little cute kitten heels on. Like, yes, girl! Like, Caitlyn and Killer Frost! And then what happens? Nothing. Nothing. Like, I'm sick of that. Like, I'm... Stop... Stop all that talking. And just do the damn show. They be trying to get us hyped by saying like little shit, like, and then it don't end up happening. Like when Eric talked about like, oh yeah, we're gonna talk about interracial couples. We're gonna talk about Barry and Iris being an interracial couple. Where did you see that, Kiana? Sure. When did they talk about Barry being white growing up in a black household? Never. Where did they talk about him dating a black girl and how that was Never. like? Never. Ever. Oh, cause they had to still cook some collard greens. Collard greens. And some and some and some and some corn. In episode one, was that dealing with it? Sure. They didn't even have they didn't even have it. Bear, they didn't even have Barry say like, "Damn, this food, Bob." They didn't even have him say shit. He was just sipping on this little drink. He wasn't even eating the food. Lie. That's what I'm saying. Like, stop all that talking. Just write the episodes. Period. Cause we get we get let down when we read these articles and we when we watch y'all videos. We be getting let down every time. Not saying that season six wasn't good i thought season six was by far had some great had some of the best standalone episodes in the series in the entire series you know episode two was by far like my favorite episode two seven eight and 17 were my favorite episodes like i can rewatch those right now and just be content with my little life but in the same breath just stop just 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 write the show and you know i don't like to compare producers but uh, executive producers but i'm gonna do it now the executive producer that we're not gonna speak of his name but the one before todd okay. he was very much about family very much about barry and iris as a couple then when todd took over it was cute in season four. They had some very cute moments in season four. Then when he got to do his, uh, then when he got to do a season from start to finish in season five, what did we get? A cute little suit. 
we got a suit. We got a cute suit. We got Nora being annoying, even though we love Jessica and we thought she was a great version of Barry and Iris. She was still annoying. We got Cicada, which was a terrible villain. We got, uh, what else do we fuck with? What was good in season five? I don't remember. I don't recall. Yeah. Oh, we got Thawne. That was good. Thawne was good in season five. Yeah, so in season six, Iris got her little storyline. Great. I was excited. Even though I wished that the Black Hole storyline would have started earlier. Like, if they would have gave it to us, like, episode four or five. Like, just sprinkle. Just a little sprinkle. And then by the time Iris started to investigate Black Hole, like, for real for real we would be aware and know how just how evil carver is like they could have just easily had it on the news showing at star labs like oh carver just became the richest man in central city like he just bought some some something like and then they explain who he was like just something simple just to keep putting us just to keep putting him like in display putting them in our eyes and our faces you know keep talking about him here or there you know um I love the Black Hole storyline, but now I'm kind of feeling like, uh, do I really like it now? Because it seems like it's becoming more of a Sue and Ralph storyline than it is an Iris storyline. And I don't know how I feel about them doing the same thing to Iris as they do to Caitlyn. Like, they give Caitlyn a storyline just to have it be someone else's, like Julian. They made Julian Caitlyn's, uh, Caitlyn's, uh, love interest just to make him a part of, uh, of Team Flash and whatever they had going on because he was alchemy and because he was essential to the team. Same thing they did with Jay. They made them have a little love interest just for him to portray the team. Like, they do it to... <laughs> they don't need to do that. But they do it because they feel like it's gonna keep the storyline going. But they really don't. Um, I hope Black Hole and Eva and that organization continues to be Iris's thing. Um, I don't know how I feel about her helping Sue clear her name helping ralph's i don't even know like that should be ralph's storyline but i don't want it to be like i want ralph to find something else to do with sue like black hole is irish shit okay y'all move over there y'all go over there somewhere um and then the whole ralph and sue thing like that's just he moving too fast for me you in love you in love <laughs> you in love with her oh, okay <laughs> it's too much too much for me too much and um what was Barry's storyline besides the blood work thing which I thought was great I thought I thought blood work was, was I thought Ramsey was really good um and Ramsey is still around he in that little he in that little container but he's still around kicking Um, who else uh, what else, uh, fucking But, you know, overall, guys, I thought it was a good season. Farewell. Oh, they painted over here, Kiana. What a crock of shit. Um, Grant and Candace are the king and queen of the D.C. They wanted to be Stefan so bad. They really wanted it to be Stefan? No, baby. Once season one came and he took your place as number one, Grant Gustin has always been the king of DC TV. How about that? Always and forever will be the king of the king of DC TV. The king of the CW. It was, it was, uh, what's his name? First it was Ian Summerhalder. Then it became Stephanie Mel. And now it's Grant Gustin. Pay him what he's worth, honey. Grant Gustin is the king of CW, and Candace Patton is the queen of CW. Who the queen of CW? Character off of Riverdale? No. No. He the king, and she's rightfully the queen, okay? Give them their money. You want them to come back for season eight and nine? Pay them, okay? Money. Because <laughs> if I was Candace, I wouldn't come back unless they paid. And she, rightfully so, because who's putting on performances? Who's putting on? Who's putting on amazing performances? And people writing about it. 
Dip, 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 dip. Who's putting on amazing performances and, and getting written about in articles, real articles? I'm not talking about fan page articles. I'm talking about dot, dot orgs, dot govs. Who's getting it written about? Okay, that's what I thought. You want them to do 89? Oh. <laughs> Where's that money at? <laughs> Where's that money? <laughs> Give them that money, okay? I don't care about nobody else's character but Grant and Candace's. I don't I don't care about nobody else's character but those two. If those two do not want to continue to do, I don't care if one without the other, I'm not watching the show. They both have to be in the grids and they both have to be paid what they're worth. If if they if one or the other don't do it, I will no longer be watching the show. How about that? I will, especially if Candace don't want to do it no more. I'm not watching the show. I'm not even gonna waste my breath. If they try to recast her, I'm definitely gonna I'm definitely gonna write it. I'm definitely gonna th -th 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 type a letter. If they try to recast. Or if they try to do like they did on Oliver and, uh, on Arrow and be like, oh yeah, she's not going to be in season eight, but we're going to continue to do it. Not watching. Not watching. Period. Period. Because, you know, and it was crazy because Candace will say, I remember in the interview, she said that she didn't think she did a good job in episode 17 when she had to uh, do the scenes with the mirror. She didn't think she did a good job. And I can see how she said she didn't think she did a good job because when you're on set, they don't tell you, they don't clap for you. They just move on to the next scene. Like they got to hurry up. They're on a time schedule. Mm -hmm. So they can't stop and be like, oh girl, you did good. Unless she messed up or something. Like I'm pretty sure she did that scene multiple times so they could get different angles, different clips. They tweak something right here. Oh, they didn't like this scene and they put in this scene you know that's how it works that's how it works so i you know i can see where she said that she didn't think she did a great job because they gotta hurry up they on schedule they gotta keep it moving go to the next scene okay great we got that let's go to something different you know um but yeah girl did amazing both of them did amazing i feel like grant candace always put on amazing performances and, and that should tell you something right there. Who who else? What else character you know has put on an amazing performance besides Grant and Candace? I'll wait. I'll wait. Exactly my point. Overall, girl. We what time is it? Like twelve o'clock. Overall, girl. I really enjoyed this season. I can't even be a hater. Like I really enjoyed this season. You know. Anything that can move me emotionally is a good thing. And I definitely was emotional. I was excited. I was upset. I was angry. See, it's your fault. <laughs> I want to go to Taco Bell. Kiana don't want to go to Taco Bell. I want to go to Taco Bell. But yeah, I definitely thought this was a good season. I definitely think that Eric should get another chance next season to prove that he is a good executive producer and he's doing his job well uh and just you know continue to show uh you know his abilities of of a writer you know of a great writer uh but overall I, I was very pleased with this with this season okay but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe and now